Uh, this is my crude aquaponics system. It's right outside near my garage. Over here I have my grow bed, which is full of pea pebbles. And I have two plants I transplanted here. This one got wilted because uh, the pump fell out earlier. And as soon as they're deprived of water, they, they wilt really easy. But I don't know if you can see them, but I have a lot of seedlings sprouting in this corner near where the water's draining into. And there's some over here. They're spinach or onion, all the seedlings. And this one's a zucchini, and this one's a marigold plant. Both of those were transplanted, and then all these seedlings I've planted. And in here, well this was a, this grow bed is actually an old wash tub. I found it in my grandmother's attic. And right here it has a valve to control the water flow. And right here is where the water comes out. It's from an old wash tub. And here's my pond. It's just a uh, rubber rubber made rough neck tub. And I have four Comet Goldfish in here. And they're good for ponds and they're very cheap. You can get them for under a dollar depending on the size. And this hose connects to my pump. The pump was only $12 online from Hydro Fanatics. It's 185 gallons per hour. And this is my switch. This thing right here. What it does is if the water gets too low, it'll uh, quit pumping the water out. That's just so it doesn't kill the fish. Because earlier, my pump hose right here fell out because we had a bad storm, which now I have it clamped right here. It fell out, and all the water was spraying onto the ground, and the switch stopped it from killing my fish. And right here is a normal filter. Uh, there's no cartridge in here because I don't want it to filter out the, the fish poop and the nitrate in the water. I just have this so that it adds more oxygen to the water because I already had it. And if there's like any bits and pieces of dirt or something, it'll catch it. But it keeps the water where it needs to be. Uh, I also bought a thermometer gauge. I don't know if you can see it. That was only like $2 from Walmart. And I put river rocks in there for the fish. There's four fish in here. I originally had six, but... Um, I think two of them died from stress. But these guys have been holding out for about two, almost two weeks now. I'm actually thinking about buying some more and getting some freshwater clams and putting them in here. And that plant is for shade and it's grown immensely huge in two weeks. It was barely half that size. Now it's, it keeps growing and growing. Over here I have the electrical outlet. Where this is the filter that doesn't have a cartridge. And this is the pump and the pump switch. It turns the pump on and off. And in the garage here. I have the fish food. I've been feeding them shrimp pellets. That's supposed to help them grow faster when they're still young. And I have just regular goldfish food. And of course, you need a pH kit to make sure your pH is safe for the fish. Which mine's around 7, which is good for goldfish anyway. 
and just some other stuff that I've used from when I used to have fish and tadpoles. This is seaweed fertilizer. This is um, basically a little fertilizer that I've heard is good for aquaponics. You can even use it in traditional soil growing. But you just put like a teaspoon in your aquaponic pond and it's supposed to help fertilize the water. Too much and you'll kill your fish. <laughs> Yep, that's my aquaponic system. Crude, but it works. Oh, and this jug is my reservoir. Because this pump pumps 185 gallons per minute or per hour, which is a lot faster than it's draining. So I set up this jug, I poke some holes into it. I used a screw and stripped them out, and I put one over here, and that seemed to even out the water levels, because you don't want you don't want your bed flooded, and you don't want your bed empty either. So you can see right there, you can see a little bit of water right here. There's just a little bit of water right there, about an inch under the gravel. Uh, the only problem is, is whenever it rains, the uh, the water in here will get about three inches higher than the the growing medium, and I'll have to drain it out. But it doesn't cause any problems. The plants don't seem to mind when it's flooded. They do mind though if uh, if, it's, if the grow bed gets empty for a long period of time, they start to wilt. But they started perking up right away as soon as I started putting water. Within a half hour, they started to perk up. And where I have it sitting right now is, it doesn't get sun all day because of this, the edge of the roof of the garage. During midday, it won't get sunlight, but it gets plenty of sunlight in the morning and in the evening. And that's about it.